Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to connect your Xbox controller to your Windows PC. The first way is the wired method and it's the easiest. All you need is a USB cable that connects to your controller and the PC. I'm using an Xbox Series X and S controller and it takes a USB-C connector. I got this USB-C to USB 3 cable on Amazon for less than $15 that supports both power and data transfer. Link in the description. All you need to do is plug in one end to the controller and the other end to the PC. Your controller will light up and it will automatically be connected. There is no need to install any softwares or drivers. Pressing the Xbox logo will bring up a game style menu. This gives you lots of options for both gaming and video recording. Your controller will work by default on all game launchers and the most common one being Steam, where you can further modify your controller settings for each individual game you play. I really prefer this method because you don't need to have any batteries in the controller to use it while wired. Other advantages include that it practically has no lag and it's insanely quick to set up. And guys, if you find this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tutorials and tech video reviews. Now the second method involves connecting the controller wirelessly using Bluetooth. Before you begin, open up your Bluetooth settings and make sure that you have Bluetooth enabled and turned on. If you don't have a Bluetooth enabled PC, you can buy this Bluetooth USB dongle that will enable it from Amazon, link in the description. Hold the Xbox button on the controller until it turns on, then press and hold the sync button on the side until the light starts flashing rapidly. Your computer will automatically detect the controller and you're good to go. Now, if this method doesn't work, click on add Bluetooth or other devices. Then follow the same steps as before by powering on your controller and holding the sync button. Your controller should show up in the menu and you will be good to start gaming. There are some disadvantages to this method as you have greater input lag than a wired method and you're restricted to just four connected controllers. And you also have to make sure that batteries are installed in your controller before you connect. Here's a quick tip with a Bluetooth method. Make sure you have your power cable unplugged from your Xbox so you don't keep accidentally turning it on when trying to connect to the PC. There is one more alternative way to connect your Xbox controller to the PC wirelessly and that's by using an exclusive USB dongle made by Microsoft. I only recommend this if you'd want to take advantage of having up to eight controllers, but my best method is the wired one with absolutely no input lag whatsoever. And guys, that's it for the video today. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.